So in this video we're going to look at a aggressive A push that you can do on overpass. Uh, so the main idea of this is to push up and get control of this area um, up towards this point here. And so push any, C, uh, any T's back or, uh, or kill them. Um, just make sure you clear out the area and gain the map control. So the sort of start of this strat begins obviously at the beginning of the rounds that you're doing it at the start. So you'll obviously spawn in, run this way. One player will throw a smoke like this, so coming towards the bench here, aim his crosshair like so, Playing and throw. Smoke. And that'll bounce off there. You might want to practice it a few times to make sure you line it up properly, because um, sometimes it can. Sorry from that. Sometimes it can just bounce straight through, so you need to make sure you line up properly. So that smokes off this area here. So if there's any orpers or any riflers peeking here, um, then they can't have any vision. And so that's your first player. And then you're gonna have another player pushing through this way. So he's gonna throw some flashes over. Uh, maybe this guy can throw another flash over for him. Just gonna throw flashes over like this. And then you want to push with these flashes. So obviously this is gonna be smoked off. And you want to be coming out and facing this angle here and towards this area. And making sure this this uh, left side is clear from the fountain. This way is clear before you peek into the right. But when you're peeking in towards the right, you're also going to have uh, the help from a player from long. So you'll have your long player, he'll come up, uh, he'll push through, and he can throw a flash as well, but obviously he needs to be careful not to team flash. So obviously the height of this wall would be like a good mark to like throw your flash, so you want to like jump and have it fall below that wall so that as your teammate's pushing up, uh, he won't get flashed by that. So you can push up, peek in towards these angles here of that flash. Um, if this area is clear, then you'll, the person who's coming up this way can push with him. And they can clear out the uh, the park area. Uh, also, you can throw a Molotov in towards this back area here. Because what this does is it not only clears out the cover, but it also prevents any like reinforcements coming through this way. Trying to come around and help push out um, and counter the aggression that you're going for. So if you just molly that, you can either just molly it from from here. So if you clear out this angle and you've cleared these ones, then Throwing you can quickly fire. throw a molly. Obviously get back into cover and make sure that no one's just hiding the, behind these angles and then clear them out. Um, but then, yeah, you throw a molly back there. You can, If this area is still smoked off, then you could just do like Throwing a jump fire. throw type thing and have it land there. Um, you can choose how you want to do it. Uh, say if you've got like a mid-round strat that you want your long play of a Molotov or something like that, I don't know. Um, if you've got something like that, then yeah, you might want to choose who you throws the Molotov. Uh, but then once you've got the uh, park area covered, then if you come in towards this area here, um, obviously you don't want to get spotted, so you don't want to be throwing like a smoke from this area here. But if you like, if you're pushing in and you come towards this back area here, you just run and throw a smoke, then you can just cover off this back area. Um, and have this smoked off and then you've got control of the whole A side of the map and what you can do is you can just leave a player here um, out here just covering this and then he can wait for that smoke to go and then re-smoke it perhaps and then fall back and then or even just falling back after that the T's need to come and retake this area which is going to take so much time and utility uh, because you could just be hiding in any spot out here that's got the whole of the A side of the map that you could be hiding in. Um, so they've got to thoroughly clear all that area out with molotovs, with flashes, um, and all that stuff. So th that's why it's so effective to push up here. Um, also, you need to be careful with connector. So the player who throws the smoke from here, throws the smoke, He'll be the connector player, so he'll come down and he'll prevent any sort of rush, so he can do what he wants, you know. Come here, throw that flash if he wants to peek. Um, throw a Molotov down, or something like that, if he hears footsteps, or something like that. Um, you can choose how he wants to play that. And then the player who's pushed up with, uh, pushed up towards this area here with the other player who's going to be staying up here, he can choose whether he wants to stay, if they want to... Uh, if there's, they're trying to fight towards here, if he hears that, or if the connector player says that there's a fight going on, he needs some backup, then he can come down here and help with that. Um, so you can sort of switch between the two, depending on where the T's are trying to aggress from. Um, 
And so yeah, that's sort of like the main part of the strat. Obviously, um, you could have a player staying here, but uh, he'll probably just get trade frags. Uh, so yeah, the smoke's gone down, and you're waiting. Um, he could stay here after the smoke, but it's probably best to just fall back and uh, play back towards the site sort of area or towards toilets. Um, maybe have him spotting from back here. If, you know, maybe if he had an AWP or something like that, then, or one of your other players had an AWP, then he can the AWP can play here and then you fall back and they've still got to clear out all these angles because if you've got an AWP for who's playing here, who's to say you haven't got someone in toilets and stuff like that. So by doing this aggression, what it does is it makes it so that the time taken for the T's to clear out this area increases uh, much more because you're able to push them back um, from the map control that they normally get uh, if you're successful and you do the strat right and you hit your shots if you push them back then they've got to spend what like just over a minute to clear out all this A area if they want to come towards this site so you can have more presence towards B if you do that so you can have um, you could have like one player just back towards A just spotting like towards the late round, like say if there's like 30 seconds left he could be back towards A just spotting seeing if anything's going on uh, with, with an AWP or something and you can have four players maybe stacked towards B because essentially you've taken all this map control and they're going to have to clear it um, and obviously you'll spot them or hear them if they're trying to take it back um, with flashes or, or the molotovs or something like that So that's all for this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, then perhaps leave a like. And if you enjoyed this content, then subscribe to uh, view more. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.